area. Like. Yeah. And you have your teammate here also, Thomas. Oh, yeah. Long, 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 long day, yeah. Eh? <laughs> yeah. All right, brother. Oh man, I'm excited about this opportunity. Uh, excited to get back out there and play, um, be a part of something that's very important to this country. Uh, I just can't wait to get out there and compete again. You were playing in the NBA for the whole of your professional career. Now the new challenge awaits, going to the European basketball style. How do you see to this new challenge of your career? I mean, I've been playing high level basketball my whole life and every step is gonna be a challenge. Uh, I've had to figure out how to adapt and how to become efficient at every level. Um, so this is just a new challenge. Uh, I take on challenges head first. Uh, I know it's not gonna be easy, but I'm gonna embrace it. Uh, I know what I bring to the table. I'm called a chameleon, so I can adapt to anything. Uh, not just like that, I'll adapt to this as well. Uh, you just mentioned bringing uh, something on the table, but what do you bring on the table as a basketball player? What do you think your strengths are on the basketball court? Uh, I'm very versatile. Uh, I can play on and off the ball. I'm a two-way player. I take defense seriously. I compete. Uh, I feel like that actually gets me going now. Um, I said, I bring just so much to the table. I mean, lightning speed, I feel like that's probably the thing that's gonna stand out the most in my athleticism. Uh, but you're gonna see that, I mean, I love to compete. I'm a competitor. Uh, that's, that's, to me, I value that the most, competing. Uh, Cause that's something that doesn't take skill to compete. Uh, and I feel like I've been competing at a high level since I started playing basketball. Mm -hmm. Before coming to Lithuania, did you know something about the EuroLeague, about the level of the competition that you're going to be facing very soon with Jari Griskonas? Uh, like I know players here, um, and I've, I've seen highlights and stuff on the pages that post from EuroLeague guys. And I have some friends that play in Europe, teammates. Uh, so I know how high level it is. Uh, it's high level basketball everywhere. Um, it just doesn't stop in the NBA. And this league is the top of the top. So I know I have to be on my A game. Uh, there's going to be some adjustments. Uh, but like I said, I'm ready for it. When you just uh, came to Lithuania, you were welcomed by a cold winter weather. But uh, did you know something about Lithuania? You mentioned that you talked with Domantas Sabonis before signing with Jali Riskonas. So what did you know before coming here? I was, I was ready for there being cold. I'm not going to lie. So like I said, I had my coat and stuff, my hat, my gloves. That was just probably the thing uh, that I was most ready for. Uh, I'm not, I don't know a whole lot. Uh, that's why I'm ready to embrace, uh, kind of learn as I go and just, you know, be excited for every opportunity. Uh, but the cold, I'm from Detroit, Michigan, so it won't be too big of an adjustment. Uh, I think I'll be able to maintain and get through it. Uh, you're coming to the team where like every game in the EuroLeague it matters. Every game is a must win uh, from the fan standpoint, from every standpoint, because everybody just want to win here. How do you feel about embracing a, a new basketball culture that uh, relies on winning on every night? Uh, that's who I am. I love to win. Uh, I play basketball to win. I don't play for anything else. Uh, winning brings me joy. Um, since I was a kid, I feel like I've always been a winner. I've been winning pretty much at every level I've been at. Uh, so that's not an adjustment to me. Being a competitor, that should be the only goal. Uh, I don't care if it's the middle of a game that you might think that doesn't matter, it should matter. If I'm stepping on the court, it's a real game, it's live, it's time to compete, it, it matters. In the EuroLeague, it seems that a good adjustment process starts with a good defense. What can you say about you coming and working on the defensive end? Where, uh, what about the strengths on that side? Uh, part of my role, and the NBA was more on the defensive side anyway. So me having that defensive mindset coming in here uh, and it being important, um, that's the easy for me. Uh, like I said, that gets me going, getting stops. Uh, so me embracing the culture, seeing whatever the schemes that this team brings and learning the system, that's going to be maybe a little adjustment, but I feel like I'm a quick learner. Uh, I can learn on the fly for real, um, but I, I'm just ready to embrace it all. You're jumping on a new team at the beginning of December. That's a new situation for you. How do you feel about it? Like coming to a new locker room? Never really just jumped on a team in the middle of a season, really. Uh, but like I said, uh, I'm excited about this opportunity. Uh, there's going to be challenges with everything. 
it's gonna be highs and lows, but me just ready to take it on the storm, like it's gonna be nothing to me. Uh, I've been through adversity, been in situations where I wasn't comfortable in right away, uh, and I got comfortable in them. So I feel like this is no different. Uh, as long as I came in here with an open mind and be, be where my fear is at. So if I'm here, I mean, I'm here, I'm all in, uh, and that's what I'm gonna be. Of course, you don't know the guys that you're gonna be playing with because it's too early, but you saw some glimpses of their uh, game. I don't know, did you manage to get something from that game? Uh, you didn't see the whole game, obviously, but did you get something from that game that you saw? Yeah, uh, the guys are facing adversity. Uh, I feel like that's something. I've faced a lot of adversity and had to figure it out. So for them to be figuring out the adversity, guys going down and able to still find a way to win, I mean, that says a lot. Like I said, I was able to catch a little bit of the game, walking through the airport, uh, and them guys just fighting, competing. Like you said, every game matters. I don't care what the record is, uh, it matters. Um, and them guys went out there and fighting. They were pretty much in control of the game the whole time that I was watching, and obviously I seen the final score. Uh, so I mean, that shows a lot. I mean, so those guys care about ball. Uh, they care about this team. Um, so, I mean, I feel like I'm going to fit right in and blend right in. How do you feel about the fact that every night here in Jalgir Arena is packed with more than 15,000 fans who like their team a lot? Yeah, no, that's, that's, that's something I'm, looking, I'm excited to look forward to, man. Um, being on Solo Arena, everybody engaged into it. Uh, I mean, that should be fun. Uh, I mean, that gets you going, too. I mean, crowds into it, uh, just different atmospheres. Uh, I mean... I'm excited about that. Thank you. Good luck. Appreciate it.